welcome to another video. How exciting. So what I've done is exactly what I've asked you guys to do. I've taken one of these graphs, secant of x, and I've simply plotted the coordinates from a unit circle. So I plotted pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3, all of these right here all the way through. I also did it for uh, a negative pi over 6 to a negative 2 pi. In other words, I went this direction and plotted these points as well because that's what I want. I want the graph from a negative 2 pi to 2 pi. And all I've done is use just the unit circle and those values to give me an idea of what this graph will look like. Um, and what I notice it right away is that it's periodic. It's repeating these little half circle things. And so from what I can tell right now, it's just these half circles, and that's the graph. Um, but if I look a little closer, I'll notice over here, like at pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, a uh, negative pi over 2 and a negative 3 pi over 2. So here, right, negative pi over 2, pi over 2. There's like a gap, and it's undefined. That's a clue. That's, that's wonderful knowledge right away. Um, and so what I need to do is, well, negative 3 pi over 2, that's an x or y value. Negative pi over 2, x or y, pi over 2, 3 pi over 2. Those are x or y values. Yeah, they're on the x-axis, they're x values. So when I plug in these x values, I get an undefined thing. And that tells me right away these guys are asymptotes. So what I should do is write x equals to those values, those radians, those coordinates, and what I'll find is I've got some asymptotes. Now, if we remember a little bit more about asymptotes, we remember that the function gets ridiculously close to them. And right now, it's not very close. So what I would bet is going to happen is that this function right here is going to keep going and look like that and keep going. And then over here, it's going to start going upward. That's what I bet because that's what asymptotes tell me is going to happen. And after I've done all of that work, I would just simply connect the dots, just like I, just like I guessed. And what you'll see is that that's just what happens. The graph of secant of x looks like a bunch of parabolas repeating all over the place. And that's okay. That's what it's supposed to look like. There, there's one other component. I, I talked about the idea of concave up and uh, concave down. Just to make sure you know what I'm saying. Concave up and concave down. In other words, like right here, see how it's going? It's a parabola opening downward or something like that. That's concave down. What interval is that from? From here to here. Where is it concave up? From here to here, right? It's up. It's going up. That's all that means. So those are the sorts of things you need to include in your analysis. Um, does this function have any roots? Yeah, that's awkward, right? No roots here. That's strange. Um, so these are the things that I want you to include. This is the way I want you to do it. Uh, good luck with the other five graphs, and uh, I'll see you guys.